here in the Photography Show studio. I'm joined by Instagrammer, filmmaker, YouTuber, Louis Cole. Louis, thanks for joining us, Hello. buddy. Nice to meet you. Left-handed handshake, for, that's a bit weird. Thanks for having us. <laughs> <laughs> you have just come off the super stage where yeah. you've been talking about the power of social photography. What did you talk about? I talked about, I guess, my own journey. Um, that's why I'm getting this knowledge from on my own social journey is what is possible when you're posting online and what, what things can happen from it. And I talked about building a career, building a business, but mm. also the positive impact you can have on people's lives and the social impact you can have. Um, virality, you know, virality of content that can yeah. go out there. And yeah, what, what I want to do to harness that power to, to do good in the world. Tell me, what was the moment? Can you pinpoint a moment where you thought, you know what, this can be a thing. This YouTube, mm. this social persona, the gathering momentum, this could be my job. Yeah. Yeah, I, I remember the exact moment. It was probably five years ago, maybe even six years ago, I started a YouTube channel called Food for Louis. And at the time, it was just a silly hobby. It was me doing eating dares, eating strange things on camera. <laughs> the videos went viral, you know, really popular, millions of views. Yeah. But at that point, I didn't even know you could monetize and you can display adverts on the videos and make money mm. from it. That wasn't my in like incentive at all. I didn't know anyone doing that. We just thought it'd be fun to make a viral video. And then from there, realizing there's this broad spectrum of creators online, whether they're posting on YouTube or Instagram, you know, beauty tutorials, comedy sketches, yeah. music. And, every, and a lot of people I met were starting to earn an income from doing this, from the advertising that they could link on YouTube. And I just suddenly realized, wow, this could be a whole new direction for me. So online, fun for Louis. Yeah. Um, what sort of fun have you been having recently? I have literally just got back from Mexico. I bought a, an American school bus, which happened to be down in Mexico. As you do. And <laughs> took some friends out and we did this epic road trip, uh, yeah, all the way up through Mexico into the States and ended up in California. Wow. And we covered some pretty long distances and found ourselves in some funny situations. So yeah, yeah I, big adventure. I did see you crashed a certain other YouTuber's party at the end there. Yeah, we saw that um, South by Southwest was starting. So we just cruised into Austin. We kind of detoured. It was a big detour, probably like a thousand mile detour, but we ended up in Casey Neistat was doing like a party with CNN and Brilliant. dropped in and managed to catch up with him. Now Casey Neistat has recently stopped vlogging on a yeah. daily basis. You, however, you're managing still more or less to keep up on the daily thing? Yeah, I mean, I've decided I'm allowing myself a couple of days off a week, potentially, uh, depending on what I'm doing. I think but you deserve it. I, I think <laughs> it's more manageable, but I still yeah. have a real passion for sharing my life every day on YouTube. A few daily vloggers, some of the original daily vloggers, have kind of stepped down from doing it. Yeah. And um, I think it's just a personal thing. I'm, I'm still enjoying it at the moment, so I'm, I'm still uploading but who knows <laughs> you're still living the adventure yeah, yeah speaking hopefully. of which live the adventure yeah. is is a thing that you're working on at the moment tell us more about that so last year after years of kind of doing my own stuff with fun for louis posting on my own channels mm. i just thought what's the next step for me what do i really want to do yeah. i want to build something beyond myself it's you know my name's in the title of what i'm doing mm -hmm. and um it dawned on me let's build a a, a collective of of other travel creators and essentially with all the experience we've learned with managing brand deals and stuff we can also mm -hmm. run that as like a, a creative agency like a management company okay so we have a, a bunch of other uh, kind of travel creators now on board and yeah we've we've called it live the adventure and it, it's a lot more than just a management company but we want to be doing kind of impactful trips we're going out to borneo in may wow. to highlight some of the deforestation problems happening out there we're going to a, an orangutan rescue center and yeah, we just want to be doing, use this platform to do really good things as a, a bigger group and our wider audience. And, yeah. Sure, it's, it's quite a journey you've been on. Now, you might tell me off mentioning this, but I noticed you're going on a much larger journey. I saw yeah. on your Twitter feed that you were reaching out to Kickstarter to say, hey, I'm about to start this campaign, help. Are uh, you allowed to tell us about that? Yeah, you're planning. I'm going to. I mean, I haven't announced it to my audience yet, but I'm happy to announce it because it's going to be having in the next couple of days, hopefully. So this is kind of an it's exclusive. It's an exclusive. Yeah. So okay. basically, a lot of my audience would know JP. I mentioned him in the talk. Mm. He's um, he's a pilot and we have done some flying together. We flew around Namibia over a year ago yeah. and we've been talking ever since. And my audience know this is kind of a talk thing we've been talking about but circumnavigating the world. Yeah. And we really struggled to find the funding 
and the, the way to make it happen. So what we've decided is, not only do we want to fly around the world, and, and the main focus, the main reason we want to do it mm. is to highlight how small the world really is. And yeah. in this climate of like, you know, bl blocking borders and building walls, we want to kind of show unity around the world and show this common humanity we mm -hmm. all have. So we've decided to make a feature length movie, which is really exciting for me because I do a lot of filming, but never have I made like a long feature length movie at that, yeah. that high quality. But in order to do so, we need to raise some funds. So yeah, we're going to launch a Kickstarter to, to make this movie, basically. I wish you all the very best thank, of that. Yeah, that sounds ambitious you. in so many ways. Yeah. And another amazing journey for you to go on. And finally, uh, you know, you're talking about live the adventure and really about building a business and looking towards the future in a bit. You've been, you've leveraged so many of the social tools, Instagram, mm. YouTube, Twitter, all the rest of it. What's next? You know, there's so much great kit around the yeah. show here, but, but what do you think is next in terms of social creation, video creation? Well, I think this is an important thing to think about as a creator because you always want to stay, kind of try and stay one step ahead. What's, Absolutely. you know, where's this whole industry going? Because it, it's moving all the time. If you, even in the last year, in the last five years, if you look at the, it's, it's so rapid, so fast mm. changing. So. I've experimented a bit with 360 content on my channel. Okay. Um, it hasn't quite got that yet. Get, got there yet, in my opinion. But there's something about this immersive experience, and I know um, I know Google have just released a new yeah. VR headset, and I feel like this is the direction things are going, where people can experience stuff you're sharing in a more immersive reality. Even and something I'm going to be playing around with maybe on the world flight is live streaming 360 yep. content. So I think that's the way it's going. Like I said, I feel like the technology, it needs to improve a bit, but yeah. the, the stereoscopic 360 videos as well, where you get that kind of uh, depth as well, that's the, the full VR. I think that's, that's exciting for me. Well, there's a 360 and VR stage here for the first time at the photography show yeah. this year. Lots of 360 cameras on display as well. I think the challenge for filmmakers like you is it's a new language. There's a whole new set of rules yeah. when it comes to 360. You can't just do jump cuts know, in the no, same it, way that you can really with YouTube. It's really interesting to, to take someone on a story and a narrative where there's, you're not showing them, you're, you're not like, it's almost it's hard to curate because you're not showing them a particular thing. You're giving them everything to look Behind at. Behind the scenes as yeah, well, you know, all the cameras, all the lights, whatever it's else. It's a totally different way of, of working, so yeah, it's exciting. Mate, so much exciting stuff to look forward to. Thank cool. you so much for coming into the studio and have a great time here at the photography show. Thank you. Cheers, buddy.